Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and my minimalism journey. Today, I'm going to be talking about the power of taking out the trash and dealing with junk mail. Because everyone knows how, especially junk mail and trash can just pile up on you and make your house look more cluttered. So, the one tip I have for junk mail is as soon as you get it, while you're bringing it in, you, if you know it's junk and you're not going to use it, just throw it away. Just put it in the trash can, put it in the recycle bin, wherever you want to put it. Take it to your trash can outside for the trash man on trash day. Just get rid of it. Simple as that. Just get rid of it. Easier said than done. I get that. Easier said than done because you can just set it down and it will be in piles and it'll just accumulate on you. So that's tip one. And make it a habit. Every day when you see, get the mail, try to take it to the trash as soon as you get the junk mail. And the same goes for trash, everyday trash, because that can pile up on you too. But just take it to the trash can, you know, fill up the trash bag in the trash can, especially the bathroom trash. The bathroom trash gets kind of left behind. So as soon as that's full, take it to your big trash can, take it outside to your trash, um, outside trash can for the trash guy, but just take it outside or just put it with the rest of the trash, pick it up and take it out trash, take it outside. And then once your big trash can, main trash can with the trash bag is full, or if you don't use trash bags, whatever, just take the trash, the trash bag, the trash can, the trash, 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 take it outside as soon as it's full. Yeah, just take it outside. So that is one great decluttering tip because sometimes you don't even realize that trash and junk mail and stuff like that adds up and clutters up your house. So yeah, it's one of those things where it's an easy step um, to get your house organized and decluttered and cleaned, but it's so overlooked because it's so simple. Because it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you, I'll just pick that up and do it later. But what I've been trying to get into the habit of, every time I'm on the couch and I have to, like, go to the bathroom or I'm going to do something or whatever, I, I'm trying to make a habit of picking up a can, a pop can or whatever, a piece of trash, a plate that needs to go in the kitchen, something, junk mail that needs to be thrown out. I need to pick, I'm trying to pick that up and take it to the trash. Take it out. So it doesn't just accumulate. And that happens with boxes too. Because um, I'm in my basement in, that works as my work at home office for my normal job. Um, and I can see one, two, three, four, four, five, five empty boxes. I mean, some of them are kind of big and awkward and long, but I just need to take them upstairs the next time I go and and get rid of them and take them out. We have a recycle bin too. So the city that I live in does give us two trash cans that the trash people, I believe it's Rumpke, um, that they pick up. They give us a normal trash can bin, I don't know what you want to call it, and then a recycling one. So that's nice that they give us both. But so I just need to take those boxes up, break them down and put them in the recycling bin outside. Simple as that. But half the time I forget. I work three to midnight. So sometimes it's just late. And now that it's been cold, it just we just got through with winter. So it's been kind of cold. So now that it's getting springtime and warmer, I just need to buckle down and get rid of those five boxes and take them out. Because that's one thing that you can do. It's simple. It's easy, like I said, that helps you with your decluttering journey. I don't know what you want to call it, what you're on, but I'm trying to declutter and simplify my life, minimal, minim, minimize my life, minimal. I don't know what you want to call it, minimal, minimal, minimize, I guess, my life, 
get rid of things that are no longer adding value. Those boxes are just taking up space. So they're not really serving me anything. Anything. I mean, I probably could, with one of them, put keep for um, things I'm going to be donating or getting rid of. So I have something to put them in. So I might keep one of them for that and start a box for them. But the other ones that are kind of awkward and long, I just need to get rid of. Just take outside, take them upstairs, take them outside, and get rid of them. But yeah. So today's just going to be a shorter video because I just wanted to talk about the power of getting rid of trash, dealing with junk mail, and how that can really, I feel like, getting you motivated to declutter more and do other things as well because if you have the trash out of the way the boxes empty boxes that you get shipped to your house the trash the junk mail out of your house it's easier to find other things that you may not need and kind of give you a little boost and head start um josh joshua feels millboard from the minimalist he said there's several different categories of things that um are in your house and what you um, should keep in your house that people have in their house and you should they're just different categories one is essential items things that you need toilet paper some clothes shoes stuff like that um, non-essential items are things that add value to your life but you don't necessarily need like a book or a movie or I'm not really sure, but things that, like a candle maybe. It adds some sort of value to your life, but you don't really need it. And then the junk. The stuff that is just taking up space in your house. I mean, I guess you could kind of put trash and junk mail in that category of junk. But you could also, you could also put another category of um, trash or junk or trash or recycling that you just need to get rid of. But it could also fit into the junk category that Josh um josh um set up in his with his three categories but yeah so if you if you start with the simple stuff the trash the junk that you don't need no longer adding value to your life your minimalism journey kind of gets a kick start a head start and it's easier for you to work on the other things that may not be a little bit harder to get rid of but you're not you're trying to not really sure about like sentimental items. He also says that um, if everything is sentimental, nothing is sentimental. Not everything can have the same amount of sentiment. Like, I can't say, like, oh, this picture of me and my sisters has the same sentiment or sentimental value as this pen. This pen, yes, I like this pen. It's a nice pen. It writes really nice, but... I can get another pen. This pen, once this dries out, or I use it all up or lose it, I'm not going to be that upset. Um, Because I can always get another pen or have another pen. Yes, it's a nice pen. I like this pen. But I'd be more upset if I lost a picture of me and my sisters or my niece or my nephews. So you kind of have to take in perspective of what uh, what you may want to keep for that may have some sentimental value or may have some sort of value to your life or brings you joy because not everything can bring you joy this pen doesn't necessarily brings me joy it adds some sort of value to my life because it, i can use it and write with it make a list or whatever but i can also find a different pen or a pencil or something else so yeah definitely but that's all I really have for you today and just keep in mind the less stuff you own the easier how easier your house is to organize thanks guys and have a great weekend